Can I get your name again? Uh, Lane Schumann. Lane, and what do you do? I'm um, manager at Bull Feathers. And Bull Feathers is a popular restaurant in Pen in uh, Pensacola Beach. That's right. We're a beach bar and restaurant. Definitely restaurant. Big with tourists. Yes, absolutely. We're right on the boardwalk. This year, how much is your business down? Uh, our, our business is down, according to the figures, at least 80%. Uh, business has just been very dismal compared to last year's. Same, same week, uh, same festival, same things going on. Just don't have the walk around traffic on the boardwalk. And it has to be from the oil spill. That's absolutely what everybody is attributing to. I mean, last year we had a weak economy, but we still had seen growth in, in uh, from the previous year in our business out here. And this year there's no other reason for it. Has BP paid to make up the money? Uh, BP has paid some people. It all depends on uh, how quickly you got your claim in, or if most of the businesses are not getting paid at all. Um, they're getting really pushed back from the, their claim representatives. Whereas individuals in the in the um, tourist industry have gotten checks, and uh, and they're in most cases they're not what they would have made, but they're looking at it like free money, you know. How much has Bull Feathers lost? As a corporation? Yeah. Uh, almost a quarter million dollars in sales since April. And, and has that been paid? No, no, not at all. Have, have they paid anything to uh, the ownership here or the management here? Back in June, the owner got a, um, a check for about $5,000 that was, uh, here's a little help you money to, you know, and I think that was within the first week or two that he had given the claim and got a claim representative and a claim number. And that would, but then he didn't see anything or hadn't heard anything for for months later, and uh, and I guess it was uh, last week he he received a check um, for uh, twenty four thousand dollars, but uh, he received a phone call shortly after that saying, please don't deposit it, it's not good. Uh, he had already deposited it and. It bounced, and then he got a check a few days later for like thirty-four thousand dollars, and uh, then a call also accompanied that saying, "Please don't deposit it. There was a mistake." So, out of the quarter million dollars that Bull Feathers has lost, they've got five thousand dollars. Yes. Is that a common story? Yes, absolutely. With with all all the tenants that I've spoken with on the boardwalk, that's par for the course.